saw the heart-pounding panic look of love when a couple first spies each other. But is it really possible to fall in love at first sight? <laughs> A 2000 Gallup poll found that while 75% of Americans believe there is such a thing as one true love, overall only 52% think love could occur at first glance. Specifically, that's 55% of men who believe in love at first sight compared to 49% of women. But is there a biological basis to what might feel like love at first sight? And does it indeed actually occur in a split second? Yes and yes, but it's hardly that simple. A meta-analysis study, the neuroimaging of love conducted by Syracuse University professor Stephanie Ortigue found that 12 areas of the brain work together to release euphoria-inducing chemicals like dopamine, oxytocin, adrenaline, and vasopressin. These culminate in what's reported as a feeling of love, and it can happen as early as 0.2 seconds of visual contact. That love-struck feeling also affects cognitive functions like mental representation, metaphors, and body image. But why might love strike like lightning at the heart of an unsuspecting human in the first place? Why not Take it slow, brain. Helen E. Fisher, a co-author of the study Reward, Motivation, and Emotion Systems Associated with Early Stage Intense Romantic Love, looks at the constellation of neural systems involved with feelings of love, and she hypothesizes that marshalling these resources quickly and efficiently could be a mating shortcut. Quoth Fisher, even love at first sight is a basic mammalian response that developed in other animals and our ancestors inherited in order to speed up the mating process. And if you think that lust and not love may be behind that tingly butterflies in the stomach feeling, well, just look to the eyes and all will be revealed. In a report called Love is in the Gaze, published in Psychological Science, male and female students from the University of Geneva viewed a series of black and white photographs of people they had never met. In the first experiment, participants looked at photos of young heterosexual couples interacting with each other. In the second experiment, participants looked at photos of the opposite sex. They were then asked to quickly identify the photos as either eliciting a feeling of romantic love or sexual desire. For both men and women, eye tracking software revealed when participants reported feelings of romantic love, they tended to dwell on the face. But when photos made them feel lusty, well, the gaze made its way down the body. To which we say, adoy. As far as love at first sight goes, well, it could just be a trick of the brain, or more specifically, your memory. When you think back to when you first met your current partner, you may recall this feeling of love and euphoria. But you may be projecting your current feelings back to the original encounter with this person. Which is all to say that love at first sight is in the eye and the memory of the beholder. So what about you? Have you ever experienced love at first sight? Do you even believe in it? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to keep the videos coming and make sure to check out these videos. They're about love too. You could argue that all of us just need a few things in life like food, shelter, and love. Everything else is just decoration. This means that when in love, we may be both more likely to obsess over a partner and less able to regard her or him objectively. Aromantics are not necessarily asexual, just as asexual identified people are not necessarily a a romantic.